Hey there! Welcome back to Three Guys English. My name is Tom, and today we have another phrasal verb lesson for daily conversation. Today's phrasal verbs are going to be about strong emotions, so you can really convey your feelings when you speak. All right, let's get started. Phrasal verb number one: calm down. Calm down means to become less emotional, usually from a strong feeling like upset. Or angry or excited. For example, that guy makes me so angry. I better calm down, or I'm gonna punch him right in the face. All right, guys. If you're enjoying yourself as always, please try to help us out and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. As well, you can now also find us on Facebook and on TikTok. So check those out. All right. Great. Let's get on with the next one. Our next phrasal verb is care for. Care for means to love someone. For example, at least she found someone who cares for her now. Her last boyfriend was such a jerk. Our next phrasal verb is cheer up. Cheer up means to stop feeling sad or feel happier. For example, ah, come on, cheer up. Your wife divorced you. Your house burned down, and your dog died. Can't get any worse. Our next phrasal verb is deal with. Deal with means managing negative feelings. Negative people or negative emotions, so you can continue with your normal life. For example, ah, cheer up! Stop complaining. Everybody has to deal with people they don't like. Next is get over. Get over means to find a way to deal with a difficult situation. For example, getting over my ex was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Next is get to. Get to means a person or experience that really annoys you or frustrates you. For example, sometimes my mother-in-law really gets to me. The next phrasal verb is hope for. Hope for means to want or to expect something. For example, well, I really studied a lot for this exam, so I'm really hoping for a good result. Next is let down. Let down means something is not as good as you expected it to be. For example, man, I was really hoping for some great movies with those new Star Wars trilogy, but they really let me down. The next phrasal verb is look forward to. Look forward to means you are happy because you expect something good or fun to happen in the near future. For example, I'm really looking forward to Corona being finished so I can actually travel again. Finally, we have open up. Open up means when someone starts to relax and then start to talk about personal things in their lives. For example, I know my mom can be a little cold, but you put five, ten drinks in her, she opens right up. All right, guys. So let's stick those ten phrasal verbs together and make it into one story. Ready? My boss really gets to me. When I started that job, I was really looking forward to it because I really care for the work. And I was hoping for a good new experience. Oh man, what a letdown! I tried opening up to my boss, but he's such a grump. I don't think anything cheers him up. I know, I know. I need to get over it and deal with it. I think the best thing to do is just calm down and look for another job. All right. So, have any of you been in a similar situation or had a boss or coworker like this? Well, these are ten great phrasal verbs that you can use for describing one of those situations. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for today. But I just want to thank everyone for checking us out. And as always, if you have any questions or any phrasal verbs that you would like me to cover, be sure just to stick those down in the comments, and I will have a look at them and get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys. Well, thanks very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.